Okay, this video uh, talks about how to schedule a Zoom meeting. And uh, I mentioned on, a, on the introductory video that I was going to have a video to show how to schedule from the desktop app, but also from logging into your online account from your desktop. Um, and just because of the program that I'm using to record these, I'm not going to be able to show those both in the same video. And so what I'll say is this. If you have downloaded the desktop app and you open that, it's going to take you to a home screen. And the home screen has four choices, four little um, clickable buttons on the left hand side. And one of them is schedule to schedule a meeting. If you click on that, it's actually going to take you to this page um, where if you've logged in online, uh, you're going to start off coming into your profile page. And if you want to schedule, you're just going to hit meetings and then schedule a new meeting. And then this is where you're going to end up uh, to schedule the meeting. And if you've started in the desktop app and you hit schedule, it's going to take you to this page. OK, so now we're all together in the same place. And so you just give your meeting a title, some description if you want to have it. Um, set up the time. Let's just say we're going to do it tomorrow at 5 p.m. We're going to go for an hour. And I want to be, uh, I would click to Mountain or Central Time. It'll default for you. It'll probably already be uh, what you want it to be based on your uh, where your parent account is out of. But if you want the meeting to be a recurring meeting, so I want to be daily at 5 o'clock or weekly or monthly, this is where we would click on that and uh, set an end time for that. Uh, and the number of occurrences you want. But if it's just a one-time meeting, don't click that box. Um, don't have registration be required. Let the meeting ID be generated automatically. Um, I don't like uh, requiring a password, so I would take that away. And then I want the, both the host and the participant videos to come on automatically. I would choose the both telephone and computer audio options so people have the flexibility to call in. And then I would enable uh, people to join the meeting before the host gets there and uh, these other things I wouldn't bother with a waiting room uh, it's not complicated but you just don't really need to do it and then um, I wouldn't do record the meeting automatically because it takes up a lot of space in the cloud you can record the meeting as the host from the meeting itself and I'll show you that in the last video um, if you want to mute participants on entry you can do that let's say people are going to be joining kind of all along in a big stream of things then you might want to mute them when they come in so they're not like making noise or the dogs barking or whatever um, but when you get through all of that just go ahead and hit save and then uh, so the meeting is all set right now um, and but you haven't invited anybody so uh, you, if you go down here to invite attendees there's a link you could just grab that link and text it to people or email it to people or you can just actually copy all of the meeting information so you come here click that it's all taken to your clipboard right now and you can open up your email program and just dump it in there um, I'm not sure that my recording um, application will switch over if I do that so I don't want to do that right now but if I opened up Gmail and just uh, pasted this into the body of the email, then I'm off and running. So that's how that works. Um, I can start the meeting from here, um, or I can start it from the app, or I can start it from the phone app. And I will do another little video uh, of how you schedule a meeting uh, from your phone. But this gets us through scheduling meetings.